All right, nice toasty fire ripping. Oh, hey, what's up, everyone? You must be here for another video. This wood stove is the hot topic in my life right now. Probably the most crucial part of living off grid in this canvas tent during the winter when I'm gonna get snow. Um, I'm really excited to be diving into this new skill set. So I want to show you in this video how we set it up and kind of got acquainted to it and our first cook with it. So let's do it. So we've got our wood stove here. Brian was telling me that I'm going to want to burn it before I put it in the tent to burn out any crap that's in there. This looks like a pretty sweet wood stove recommended by Brian, Nyko. Put the description, put the link below if you can find it. Oh yeah, this thing's looking super quality. I just pulled out the water box. I remembered that I did this. So you can put water in there and it'll get really hot and then I just gotta flip this around. It comes like that just in shipping. <laughs> it's real tight. But yeah, this is so neat, you guys. So we'll just flip that and then install this little guy on the back. I love it! Now we've got a spigot on here. We'll get that tight and then we can drain water. This is so neat. Oh yeah, and I also got this, which goes on the side here as a cook surface. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is like the full package. I kind of forgot, I bought this about a year ago, so. I was actually gonna put this in the A-liner and then I just decided not to. Cut it all up and do all that work. And I'm glad I didn't. Cause the A-liner was really sweet, but I don't like towing trailers around a bunch. So living on them on an off-grid property is cool if they're big enough, you know, like my parents. And the A-liner works great as a guest trailer for them, but to spend a ton of time in it, this is where it's at, baby. This is so much room in here. Mm, okay. This off-grid lifestyle thing is really a lot to get used to for me, which seems weird but it's going from the truck to the tent. Do these look any anything alike? <laughs> like, and the reality is the systems and everything is a lot different. Now the solar and the knowledge of all that transfers over, the knowledge of staying warm and yada yada, but uh, there's a lot of new stuff. So been a little overwhelming, but mostly super fun and unpacking this, whoo, it's so cool. Look how good this looks. Doesn't that just look so nice and quality? And then I got the uh, water tank over there. Almost looks like it belongs on the Jeep and the fender. No, not really. Anyways, let's roast a fire in here and uh, kind of break it in, get, get all the fumes out and stuff like Brian said. Makes sense, yeah. First time you burn it, it's gonna like burn off a bunch of crap that's been on it, oils and all sorts of stuff. So let's do it. All right, so I've got the pipe laid out and yeah the directions say to preheat so burn off any oils or anything so we'll toss them all in there and preheat um i didn't get a spark arrestor though which is a concern and i don't have a really good way like i need a waterproof uh or sorry a fireproof like a cloth or canvas i need something i need to build a good surface for this thing coats i got your bed you want to come hang out in here and check it out You could hang out in here. Yeah, it's nice, huh? We just got the damper plate in there. And uh, let's assemble the stove. Next, it says to line the floor of the stove with one inches of sand or dirt. So we'll do that. We'll try to pick some rocks out. Um, yeah, it feels weird to throw dirt in a brand new thing, but here we go. <laughs> 
You'll see in the next couple episodes that Brian comes over and he actually noticed that and told me that I don't need to do that. Uh, a lot of stove manufacturers recommend it, but your my stove actually burned a lot hotter once we took the dirt out of the floor and uh, yeah, just less mess and more room for the fire to breathe. So don't put dirt in the floor. All right, we got some good dirt. We got that thing nice and coated about one inch. So let's do our test fire here and put some pack racks water in here <laughs> just to break this thing in. Got some nice pieces of oak from Fife and some juniper from the property here, of course. <laughs> Cool. Just starting to get going here. Oh yeah, you can see the smoke kind of burning off everything, all the oils. So that's how we're looking so far. You just hear the fire just toned down. And then we got our adjustment there. Look at that, color starting to come into it. But yeah, mainly right now, just getting all the, all the oils burned off. Look at that. First time seeing that smoke near the wood stove or near the tent gonna be right about there <laughs> once we get it in there i just love this i think this is such a cool wood stove thank you so much brian again my buddy off-grid back injury adventures youtube we've been friends for since the start of my youtube four years now and uh he's the one who got me into the whole wood stove thing and but yeah i gotta do a little bit better job getting this going here <laughs> But yeah, thanks for the inspiration, Brian. Wouldn't be doing this without you, I honestly don't think. All right, this is my temporary setup. We got the eco fan up here and I just stacked up my first fire, log cabin style. And I had to share it with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just torch it. So yeah, it blew out some smoke at us, so I had to close it real quick. So, yeah, I don't really know. Every time I open it, I get smoke, so that's like a backdraft. So we gotta get a good draft, and yeah, we gotta figure all this out. But it'll get hot enough, hopefully the eco fan will go on, and then, uh, yeah, I'm just stoked to be feeling some heat from this. I think already, even. Yeah, check it out. First little bit of smoke out of the tent. Aha. How cool is that? So for some reason, my stove didn't come with a spark raster. Uh, it's okay, I'll just be careful. I mean, having an open fire is way worse, but uh, Still gotta clean up in here, but oh yeah, it's heating up. Sweet codes, come check this out. I got heat in here. I think I gotta move Coda's water bowl to the sun because the ice block has just been getting bigger. <laughs> what do you think of that, Codes? It's good, huh? It's like, yeah, that's yummy, Dad. That's cold. You could chew it. You could eat it. What do you like? There's our smoke going out. That looks neat too. You can see it's just heat. Wow, I am really feeling some heat from that. That is awesome. 
cool. Yeah, that thing's ripping, so we might tone it down a little bit on our adjustments there. Color's beautiful on this stove right now. It's just changing so awesome. The fire's ripping. Oh yeah, I got a ripper going now. Check this out, you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> really ripping that's gonna last a while this is fun I'm kind of just like learning and trying to get it down oh I hit my eco fan sorry eco fan I gotta move you over that was silly all uh, right well I think that's it you just put it on there right huh it's done some cooking. <laughs> it's gonna take a while at that pace. Ooh, it's starting to sizzle. No way, that's big moves right there. Oh wow, our buns ended up being bad, so we're just doing bread. No big deal. And for now, we'll put our hot pans just down on the uh, aluminum to cool off. All right, first meal cooked on the wood stove, bratwurst. And first, first day running it, Mmm, perfect. Hey, cuz. What do you think of the wood stove, cuz? It's cool, right? I think it's cool that, theoretically, I can heat food for free. Grill and bake food for free. We've got tons of downed trees around here just from the road that was made to get in here. Just on this road, I bet you I've got at least a few years worth. There's so many more trees I want to cut down to make trails and so many more. I got clothes all comfy by the wood stove. It's ripping now. All right, well, this is pretty cool. I'm editing video of the tent, in the tent, with my Claymore 3 face on. Stoves are ripping. Codes is sleeping like a cutie. And yeah, just really enjoying this space right now. It's really cozy. I'm digging it a lot. Day four, baby. It's kind of cool, I've got this fan here. And this breeze open, so I can get a little breeze in my face, um, a little fresh air. The stove's ripping. It's really, really warm in here. Probably the warmest it's been so far. They did two riders. First show we're watching, Pink Bike Academy. We got the stove ripping. Stove, man, it is sweet. You gotta be careful. That thing gets hot right there, though. Look at that, we got a fire in here. It's so fun. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more videos, uh, of course, where the, you'll see the wood stove, but also more informational ones when I learn more about it. Um, <clears throat> at this point, I've learned a ton about it and how to set fires in it and uh, just all sorts of stuff. So we'll see you on the next episode though. What's the next episode gonna be? Oh yeah, well the next episode, we're coming up on a week living full-time off-grid in this tent so we're gonna tell you all that we've learned in the first week we'll see you there the only question is are you down to mob <laughs>